In this video, you will learn how easy it is to set up rental periods in your Bookable account. What are rental periods? Rental periods are the dates, times, and durations that you allow your customers to select for their rental orders. The settings that we will set up today do apply to the online date picker, but stick around to the end of the video and you will learn how to apply these settings as well to any manual orders you place in your Bookable account. Start by going into your Bookable settings and you can click into the rental period section and you will find all the tools you need, including default order times, which is how you can set one pickup and return time that applies to every order, rental periods, which is how you can set essentially how long the customer can reserve their order for, operating hours, which is how you can set the opening hours of your rental store, time picker increments, which is the intervals of time that appear on your time selector on the date picker, Away mode, which is how you can block out dates for pickup and return for things like holidays or an off season. And apply to manual orders, where you can assign all these new settings to apply on your manual orders placed in your bookable account. Let's get started with the most important setting, your rental periods. Your rental periods are the dates, durations or time slots that will appear for your customers to select on the online store's date picker. By selecting the first option, any dates and times, this will allow your customers to place an order for as long as they like and select any time of pickup and return within your operating hours. This is really helpful if you don't mind how long or short an order is and you're happy for customers to select any time of pickup and return. But you can also learn in a later step how to set operating hours to limit these periods of time which are open for a pickup and return. You can also turn off the enable time selector button as well if you prefer to have a set pickup and order time for every order instead and this means that only the date selector will appear. Next option is fixed durations. This will instead allow you to restrict the customer's order to a predefined time period such as one day, two days, three days. You can also set up durations in intervals of hours, weeks and months as well such as one month. This is really helpful if you only allow orders for certain durations, which is popular with event rental companies that at maximum only allow a two day order period, for example. You also have the option with this option to allow or not allow time selection for the customer as well. On the online store, date picker, apart from choosing the pickup date and time, the customer is now limited to selecting only from these durations that you have set and the duration will also reflect on the date picker calendar. And here, because I have time selector enabled, they are allowed to select a pickup date and time, as well as a return date and time, but you can change this as well to default order times in the next step. The next and final option is to set up fixed time slots. This is if your rental orders are no longer than one calendar day, and you only allow orders for set durations within that calendar day, such as 9am to 12pm and 12pm to 5pm, for example. You can set up time slots to apply to only weekdays and weekends, for example, or specific days within the week as well. This is really helpful if you are a bike rental business and only allow half or full day bike rentals at maximum. Here, I am setting up certain time slots for my weekdays, and only one time slot available for my weekends because I close early. And on the online store date picker, the customer can obviously choose the date of their reservation and be limited to the time slots that you offer for that day. And you can see that because I have different time slots set up for my weekends, this reflects online on the date picker as well. For my rental period settings, I would choose the option of any date and time within my operating hours and then scroll up to the next step. The next feature to set up is your default order times. This is how you can set up one pickup and return time that applies to every order. Here, you will have to have the enable time selection on your rental periods switched off so that you can select the times that will apply to every order. You can also choose a relative time, all orders starting 24 hours from now, and all orders ending 72 hours from now, for example. With this option enabled, the customers will only be able to select their pickup and return dates as the time selector has been removed 
for the default order times to become in effect. Scrolling down, you have the operating hours, which is how you set up the opening hours of your rental store, such as pickup starting at 9 a.m., returns ending at 5 p.m. The customer will be able to select any pickup or return time within this time slot, and this will reflect on the online date picker, where they can select a pickup time from 9 a.m. and a return time until 5 p.m. Scrolling down, you have the next feature, which is time picker increments, which is the intervals of time that appear on your time selector. This means the time of pickup and return can be offered in 15 minute, 30 minute and 60 minute intervals. Next is away mode, which is how you can block out dates for pickups and returns for things like holidays, the Christmas period, unexpected closure times or an off season if you're a seasonal business. And you can of course set up multiple time periods where your store is closed for pickups and returns within the one year. Once you're finished with a way mode, you can scroll down to our last step, which is apply to manual orders. This is where you can assign all these new settings to apply on your manual orders placed in your bookable account. This means that the operating hours, the rental periods, and everything else you have set up in the previous page will reflect on any new order that you and your team will place in your bookable account. And you're all set. You have now successfully learned how easy it is to set up your rental period settings in bookable.